And then it just got worse and worse and worse. They started adding in more girls. It just became out of control. Heather Ray El Musa dishes on the quote, very toxic experience working on Selling Sunset. On April 2nd, the reality star appears on the Skinny Confidential podcast with her husband, Tariq El Moussa, and opens up about the pros and cons of working on reality television, including what really happened on the hit Netflix show. In the beginning, it was just all like fun, not Close. crazy drama. It was just, we were all friends. Like any drama was just, it was just, you know, simple. And then it just got worse and worse and worse. They started adding in more girls. It just became out of control. And I mean, there'd be days I came home to him like crying from the stress of Every filming. Day. Yeah, and everything. And then, you know, you film it, you go through it. It's your real life. And then the show comes out, you have to watch it and then deal with the, all the stress again. And then you have to hear from all the fans and you get attacked for you know, almost everything you do because the fans are so vocal and on social media. And so it's like you're going through the stress and you're filming and then you get a little break and then it comes out and you go through it again. The 36-year-old notes her experience working on both Selling Sunset and her show with Tariq, the flipping El Musas, while she was pregnant. And when she found out, she wasn't getting asked back to the Netflix show. I filmed my show on Selling Sunset and our show together, the flipping El Musas, up until I was basically about to give birth. I was um, two weeks before I gave birth to Tristan. So I was filming two shows in high heels. I rocked it. And then I went on maternity to leave right during season seven of Selling Sunset. And then they did not ask me to come back. Heather goes on to mention how it was, quote, a blessing she wasn't asked to return to Selling Sunset and details the demanding work schedule, including 12 to 14 hour days. I mean, you know, it was a blessing that I wasn't asked to come back because I'm so much happier filming my show with Tarek. And, you know, we get to we're we're co-producers on our show. So we pick the hours and with Selling Sunset, I never knew when I was going to be filming. It was last minute. It took over my life. Um, It was hard to do my real job. Real estate was hard to do anything else. And I was away from him all the time. I was away from our kids all the time. And I was, you know, I'd be gone for like 12 to 14 hours someday it was crazy because we live in orange county so i had to drive up to la and so it was pretty brutal and but yeah it, it's very toxic you're around a bunch of women that everyone wants to be stars on the show and number one and you know they'll kind of do anything